Okay, Houston, right, we've had a problem here. This is Houston, say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Houston, do we have a problem? Nah. Today what we want to do is we want to look at something called dimensions. Now, dimensions is a way of looking at the units that we measure things. It has to do with measurement, right? We can measure a lot of things. We can measure a distance. We can measure a mass. We can measure time. We can measure lots of things. But in physics, we work with something called the SI system. The System International, the International System of Units. And the International System of Units has three fundamental measurements. Well, there's probably more than three, but the, the three key ones have to do with distance. And for distance, we use the meter, abbreviated with an M. All right. The next one is mass. And the unit we use is a kilogram. Now, you might say, well, why not a gram? I don't know, because they chose a kilogram. And then time. And these are the big three that we're going to use. And we use a second, not an hour a day, a second. And these are dimensions. Distance, mass, and time are dimensions. Meter, kilogram, and second, these are units. So units matter because units are because we can measure uh, distance in kilometers or miles or inches, right? And so there's many ways to measure distance, but distance is the dimension. And ultimately, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing something we call dimensional analysis. And dimensional analysis basically is a way, well, it's a way to multiply things by one. All right. So for example, if I've got 23 meters. And I want to convert it, let's say 23 meters, into miles. Right, that 23 meters isn't very far, a mile is a long ways. Well, what do I do? What you always do is you start with the number, 23 meters. You put it as a fraction, so everything's about a fraction, it's over one. And what I want you to do is to use what we call the railroad tracks. And what I want to do is I want to multiply by one. What I want to do is I want to find the number of meters. Now, I want to get the m's to cancel, so I'll have cancellation and I want to go to miles. Now, this is where you look it up on a table. One mile, you may not know this, is 1,608 meters. 1,608 meters in one mile. Now, I put this here. I mean, you could write it here. 1,608 meters is equal to one mile. And what I have to do is, if I've got this right here, I can write this as a fraction. It's, it's really the same number divided by the same number, right? One mile and 1,608 meters are the same thing. And I can write it uh, one mile over 1608 meters, or I can write it the reverse, because the goal here, you see, is to cancel off the meters. And so I would simply do is everything on top, you multiply, everything on the bottom, you divide. So 23 times 1 divided by 1 divided by 1608. So let's see if we can do that on our calculator, right? I'll just say 23 divided by 1608, because timing divide by each, and I get 0 0.1, 0 0.014, 0 0.014 miles makes sense to be short because 23 meters is not very far. So that's one dimension. Let's talk about another one that's a little bit more confusing. Let's say that I've got a dimension that contains more than one of these units. So for example, you know that if I were to take a cube, this is a volume, and I can take the length times the width times the height. And so let's say that this cube is three centimeters by three centimeters by three centimeters. So his volume is three times three is nine, nine times three is 27 centimeters cubed. We can say centimeters cubed, but watch how I do this because I'm gonna convert, you'll see the issue. I'm gonna write cm, cm, cm over one because what I wanna do is I wanna convert from centimeters cubed into inches cubed. All right, I'm gonna follow the same thing, right? Now, let me give you one more piece of information. There's 2.54 centimeters is equal to one inch, all right? So what I want to do is I want to go over here and I can say, all right, I got a centimeter on the top, but I got it three times. Do you see what I'm saying here? And so I can either write that as one inch over 2.54 centimeters or 2.54 centimeters over one inch. But since I've got centimeters on the top, I'm going to say 2.54 centimeters, one inch. Hopefully you realize what this is going to do. I want to get into inch cubed, but when I do that conversion, I'm only canceling out one centimeter. And then I'll say one inch is 2.54 centimeters. One inch is 2.54 centimeters. Centimeters cancel. Centimeters cancel. I end up with inch, 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 better known as inch cubed. Now on my calculator, remember the rule I said earlier is everything on top is multiplied, everything on the bottom is divided. So watch what I do on the calculator. I'm going to take 27 
divided by 2.54 divided by 2.54 divided by 2.54. I do it three times, and this comes out to 1.6, what is it, 5 inch cubed. So those are some simple conversions. Hopefully in your chemistry class, you learn more about how to do these kinds of conversions. Uh, let me say this, you're gonna do a lot of equations and stuff like that in, your, in our, our physics class. And in these physics classes, it's gonna be important that we understand and analyze the units. Because if you analyze the units, you can solve so many of the problems that you can't even imagine. Houston, this might look confusing, but we don't got no problem.